and we started the 11th last uh, sun, uh, Sunday and so we will continue and finish this lesson the second part today I want you to read with me together the opening paragraph of our outline so be sure to have a copy you do not have a copy of the outline of part two of the portrait of a loving family raise your hand somebody will give you a copy of the outline okay shall we read ready read our family has a spiritual picture that god sees he wants to see your family as a picture of his grace god's grace helps us overcome the stress and the pressures of life but the devil fights against family so that your family portrait won't reflect god's grace you need to be on guard because satan wants to destroy your family looking at your family portrait that reflects god's design for your marriage will help you build a loving family okay the goals are virgin as follows oh we have, we do not have so maybe uh, what happens anyway so i will just be slowly because i sent the uh, the email uh, yesterday but brother john has not received it <clears throat> okay number one realize the importance of having members of our family save importante ma save ang members sa tong familia when i got saved na pray ko lord Ang akong asawa town Lord, I do not want to share. I do not know how to share the gospel by then. So somebody shared the gospel to my wife, and so my wife also got saved. So the having members is the blank of our family saved. Number two, understand that unless we have the resolve to surrender what our will to that of God's will. You know, if we do not surrender, it is difficult to build a loving family. We cannot raise up a loving family if kita mismo rebuild it as gino. No? We have to surrender our will. Number three, strive to provide security for the family against the dangers. Perting daghan ang mga dangers of worldly practices. Through the television, through the various uh, programs, through the internet, worldly practices, and all kinds of evil influences. The evil influence of alcohol, the evil influences of uh, drugs, pornography, and uh, etc. So, members will dangers. Okay, these are, those are the, the words that you feel the blanks with. Okay, there are three points. Number one, a picture of a loving family is a picture of what? Surrender. It is a picture of surrender. The picture or the portrait of a loving family is also a picture of not only surrender but also of security. We provide that security. The portrait of a loving family is also a picture of salvation. Okay, so three points okay so we have those three points so a picture of surrender first surrender to the lord's headship and then surrender to the lord's design that was the first part a picture of security security through protection we understand we understand that we took up that uh, that, that one last uh, last time so to continue under uh, a picture of security it is not only through protection but also through cleansing to secure our family from evil influences but also to secure our family from the L effects of sin from the L effects of sin cleansing so there are two things about cleansing first cleansing through the word of God Cleansing through the Word of God. The Bible cleanses us in two ways. There are two ways uh, how the Bible cleanses us through the Word of God. First, memorizing and meditating on Scripture.
keeps us away from sin. It keeps us away from sin. Memorizing and meditating. Memorizing and meditating. That is why in our lesson, we always have memory verses, right? Because that is vital. If you would enroll in Bible college, ah, sa first uh, year lang daan sa ang klase evangelization, personal evangelization, pwede yung daghan ng memorize nga, nga mga verses. O si pastor inyong maestro, Colon, period, gamma. Ugwa na, unya na as Bible, wrong. Why credit? <laughs> because memorizing the scripture is very important. Open with me in Psalm 119, verse number 11. Psalm 119, verse number 11. What do you see? In Psalm 119, verse number 11, you are so familiar with this verse. Thy word, O God, your word. Your word, O God, have I hid in my heart. Your word, Lord, I am hiding your, whole, your word in my heart because that I might not sin against thee. So, sinning against God is without His word in our heart. I would suppose that if His word is only in our mind, Sinning could still be rampant in our lives. But David says, if I'm going to hide uh, your word in my heart, I might not sin against thee. Okay? So that is the importance of memorizing. You cannot hide God's word in your heart unless you have memorized it. I, ha I am hiding uh, my wife in my, in my life, but... You have forgotten his name? <laughs> Madan. <laughs> you should not forget the name of your, your wife. You cannot hide the word of God in your heart unless you have memorized it. No? Asa mong gunang John 3.16, Old or New Testament. Madan. Okay? And then, Joshua made an emphasis to the, uh, to the, uh, to the Israelites when he assumed leadership. Moses had died. And he has to take uh, the leadership to cross the, to cross the uh, Jordan River and occupy the land of Canaan as God has promised them. And he admonished the uh, Israelites in Joshua chapter 1, verse number 8. Uh, some of us, or if not most of us, have memorized this one. Joshua 1, 8. Shall we recite? Okay, together, ready? Recite. This book of the law shall not depart out of thine mouth but thou shalt meditate therein when day and night what's the purpose that thou mayest observe to do to do according to all to do according to all that is written therein result for then thou shalt make thy way prosperous and you become Successful. And then thou shalt have good success. Success, success is, uh, <clears throat> there are some, there are a lot of, there are a lot of, uh, there are a lot of kinds, there are ki some kinds of success. There are good successes, but there are bad successes also. When you, when one succeed in robbing a bank, he succeed, but that is bad. <laughs> that is not good. Okay? So, thou shalt uh, have good success. So, memorizing and meditating. We can be cleansed so that we can protect our families from bad, evil influences. Cleansing. Okay. The next or the second uh, way of cleansing ourselves by the Word of God is Applying the scripture. Second, applying the scriptures. Oh, wow. <laughs> Thank you, Brother John. Nara. <laughs> I'm happy. I'm happy to see that one. Tinakogyug wa ma wa ma wa ma dawat. Okay? So, applying the scripture with truth cleanses or sanctifies us. Jesus Christ, in his prayer to the Heavenly Father, after the Lord's uh, the, the Lord's Supper, 
in John chapter 17, notice this one. John 17, verse number 17, this is the utterances of the Lord Jesus Christ when he prayed to the Heavenly Father. He said, addressing to the Father, sanctify them through thy truth, thy word is truth. Meaning, set them apart by cleansing them with your word. Set them apart so that they can be used for your honor and for your glory. So when we become doers and not hearers only, for sure, God is going to be pleased with our lives. We set apart. Ta. So we should not be hearers only, but doers also. James chapter 1, verse number 22 says, James chapter 1, verse 22, what does the Bible say in this in this uh, passage of scripture James 1.22 but be ye doers of the word and not hearers only to a some extent some of us or if not all of us at times also we become do uh, hearers only but not doers and there is a hard word that the Bible speak against those who are hearers only but not doers because the Bible says deceiving your own selves we are deceiving our own selves if we are only good at hearing but not doing okay that's why faith commit by hearing and hearing by the word of god that's good that's faith but if you are hearers only you have a dead faith because faith that will bless god Faith that will benefit the rest of the people is faith in action. Faith in action. So, uh, we let the Word of God cleanse our families as we what? As we teach and apply principles from the Bible because we are the living example for our children. Kita may ilang himplo. So, we teach them and if we see otherwise in our actions and in our words, they become confused. So if the members of our family are confused, take a picture. Ang uman diya gamuro, kaya na confused mana, naglagot. So is that the spiritual picture that we would want our Heavenly Father uh, to see our family in His eyes? We do not want to have that. We do not want to have members of our families who are confused amen amen so teaching god's word has a big space in the word of god even in the old testament the emphasis on teaching moses was uh, commanded was instructed by god to teach to teach teach open with me in deuteronomy chapter 6 verse 7 deuteronomy chapter 6 Verse number 7. You will notice this one. And thou shalt teach them diligently unto thy children. What was Moses instructed to teach? The works of God in their midst. When he was leading the Israelites from Egypt to the promised land for 40 years. Unsa may naitabo, ana, mo na itudo ni Moses. Teach them to thy children. What is the them there? Refers to the things that God has done for them during the 40 years. Itudlo na Moses, parang di makaibaw sila, kung sa'yo nahitabo ninyo, giunsa mo na ako, pagpainom, o pait na tubig, nahimong sweet. Giunsa mo na ako, pagpainom, huwag gitubig tubig, kung yan, ibuhagay, yes. Giunsa mo na, tanan, tanan, teach, you teach your people, not only just, you inform them, but teach them. Okay? So, that is Deuteronomy. And shall talk of them when thou sittest in thine house. You know, anak, sa una, puting lisangas atong mga uh, katigulangan, kay gigukod sila ni Pharaoh, apan nahiwa ang dagat. Okay? <laughs> you see? Oh. When you sittest thine in thine house, when thou walkest by the way, and when thou liest down, and when thou risest up, Abi ni mo anak, sawa pa ko maluwas. Mauwa ko mong sulti ni mo ini, pero pastang kapalahubog na ko. Right? And then, giunsa ko pag-usob sa gino. 
teach them. Kana mo nahitabo ba sa imong kinabuhi? Mo man ipatudlo. Ako sa una anak, anak uh, bayot ko, ni apil ko og uh, bikini, karon na laki na ko nya naminyo ko nya na anak na ko. <laughs> gapon, gapon si Twinkle Brad. Oh. Na sa tubangan, di ba? Katong bayot o ko Twinkle. Uh, the other the other day sa sa CPDRC. So, unsa may milagro nga gihimo sa Ginoo sa imong kinabuhi? You teach dili kay tell, ha? Teach good. Para nga in turn also these children of ours, they will teach their own children also. So, look at Isaiah, prophet Isaiah. Ha, oh, tanawag. Unsa iyang emphasis sa pagtudlo? Isaiah in Chapter 28, verse number 9. Tanawa si Isaiah. Prophet Isaiah has, uh, has uh, written this down to give us an idea nga kaning pagtudlo o kinsay atong tudluan, iportig yung importante ha. Okay? Na Isaiah 28, verse number 9. The scripture says, Whom shall he teach knowledge? Speaking of the letter of the home. And whom shall he make to understand doctrine? Them, sila, are you with me? Them that are weaned from the milk, gilutas ba? And drawn from the breast, breast, gilutas. Susugda na daig tudo ng mga bata, bisan sa kalinghod pa nila sa ilahang pagidaron, kanang gilutas pa. Ningos Prophet Isaiah, so, makahuna-huna ka na. Hala, ako raba ang anak raba, ako raba ang gisalig sa akong maid. Ngayon sa maitudo ang as maid, anang imong gilutas ng anak. That is why we have a lot of problems in our society today. Because the mother is busy, uh, the mother is working, and uh, mayo, iba, ibilin sa apuhan, no? ibilin sa apuhan. Pero ang tendency sa dog, ibilin sa apuhan, kaya ang apuhan, lahat naman sa feelings. Mas puil, sad. Mas spoil lahi gyud ang inahan gyud ug ang ginikanan gyud mo mag magmatuto sa sa gamay pasiya lahi gyud mao na emphasis ni prophet Isaiah whom shall he teach knowledge and whom shall he make to understand doctrine them that are weaned from the milk and drawn from the breast spiritually kinsa may angayang tudluan sa doktrina nga makasabot ang mga bagong nangaluwas as newborn babes desire to desire the sincere the pure milk of the word that you may grow thereby na sila may tuluanan so sa atong church ang angayan ng Bible study kanang bagong nangaluwas mag Bible study ta na para ma-fed na sila sa word of God so that they will grow thereby okay so cleansing through the word of God and next cleansing through Prayer. Cleansing through prayer. Okay? Ay naman ta. Okay. Are you following me with your, with your blanks in there? Okay. That's good. So, the Lord Jesus teaches that what? That blank was to be a part of our regular communication with God. What is that regular uh, uh, regular uh, communication with God on a daily basis. Confession. The blank there is confession. Okay? Now, in the Lord's model prayer, model prayer in Matthew chapter 6, the second part of the model prayer begins this. Verse 6, 11, Give us this day our daily bread. That is the model prayer that the Lord Jesus Christ teach His disciples. Teach us to pray, Lord, be to do it a good miracle. Some pag pray when you pray in this manner, in this manner, in this manner. Ingon ani, ingon ani. Give us this day our delivered Lord. Ihataga ikog supply ron sa ako ang physical nga panginahanglan non Lord may pagkaon. Oh. Give us this day our delivered. And forgive us our trespasses. 
Forgive us our sins. Duha na na. Kana lang daan, duha na nang ipangayo ni mo. Second part of the model prayer. And then, as we forgive those who trespass against us. So this is a daily, daily communication with God. And there is always there the confession. Because in the process of confessing to God, the things that we have violated against His person, against His law, we are cleansing ourselves from the ill effect of these things. Ang sin, mga God sala, the soul that's in it shall die, mamatay. Gikumparar ni Jesus Christ kini siya sa bitin nga la kayo. As Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, so shall the Son of Man be lifted up also. So ang sala sama sa kala sa bitin nga makapaak. So ang biktima sa mapakan sa bitin, mag-antos o tumang kasakit if the bitin is poisonous. It will result in his death. That is the same effect as sin upon our lives. And so to cleanse us from the ill effects, from the painful effects of sin in our lives, cleansing is very important by prayer. So prayer. In fact, the medical, if we have fever, usually, Naatay sa inutab. <laughs> Nag-text na ko si Dr. Pina. Unsa gani ito eh? Kuan, Brad, sa kanang uh, running nose. Unsa to? Unsa um na ko niya? Tawag na kong Brad Nolan, Brad. Uh, na, para sa Dr. Radias, uh, communication na mo, pakana din. Uh, ako dahil siyang gipa. Gitext ka nga. Mau ni siya eh. Running nose, Doc. <laughs> Dr. Pina. Doon na tayo medical sa to asan nga espirituhan ng kahimtang. Kung maayo ta ang atong fever o medical, kung sa panadaya, sa inuta, buguban pa, sa, sa Bible naman sa na siya. 1 John 1.9, no? Okay, 1 John 1.9, if we, if we drink medical, probably we shall be relieved of our headache. <laughs> if we confess our sins, right? When John spoke of these things in love, grabe ang subject sa love. First John, ang subject ka na, love God. Love of God. Tanaw ang subject ka na. Nindot kayo ang tema sa First John. From chapter 1 to, chap, uh, chapter one to eight, uh, 4. So, ningon siya. If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. We claim this. Even unbelievers do claim this also. They claim this also. But notice that if we confess, the requirement is confession. The requirement is acknowledge, acknowledging, acknowledging uh, our sin before Him. Yes, Lord, I have violated your law. And remember, when you violate, when you violate the law of God, you are violating His person. Very simple illustration. Kon ang blacky o kung bay kaslon, gikasal sila gita gan sa glisensya sa atong gobyerno. Kana ng license wala na mahimugso diha o wala na pa pa pa. pa uh, wala na pa paaprubahe og balaod balaod nun ang gap provide ni ana nga license kana nga balaod nun wala po na mahimo og wala na pandaya sa mga katauhan ang mga katauhan ga panday na dili ordinaryo wala ta mamunit og unsa dia gi-elect na sila nato house of representatives then to the senate then to the president una pa na mahimong balaod tedious ka ang proseso. So, when you violate the law, you are against the government. What is the result? It depends upon what kind of violation, but chances are you will land up in jail. You will be punished. 
and we have so many, so many now the what the population in the jail the population the inmates are increasing ever increasing kana tawhanon lang na violation na sa balaod nga gipanday og tao kaning violation sa balaod nga ang Dios mismo mooy nagpanday maoy nag uh, promulgate mas intense na mas bugat na siya so nigo nang ginoo di man pud mahimo og ning mga tawhana usa na ko pagdil nila og dili na ko nilimpyuhan so every now and then ako gid siyang liguon liguon ako ni sila sa ako ang pasaylo but they have to say lord ligo ako lord bay kay magdagandagan sa so, nako pagligo kanya si bata maligo ba nimong bata nga nagdana kag kabo kay imong siya bubuan nya mudagan ma dili mo maligo sometimes we behave like that we do not want to be cleansed. We do not want to confess. God is willing to confess. Like a, like a parent, willing siyang iyang diguo na iyang anak para malimpyo. Pero gadagan, asa na katurun? <laughs> Ako naman tatong diguo? Sometimes we picture like that in the eyes of God. So, nag-provide siya provision if we confess. Have you noticed that when we come serious, mingong ka, Lord? Mauwawi ako ni mo, Lord, kay gasikir man kong balik-balik o confess ni Lord. Have you noticed that sometimes? Have you noticed that? Nga, ningon siya ay, ha? Tanaw, ha? He is faithful and just. Now, where is justice, sir? Nga gasikir man balik-balik. <coughs> Lord, sorry kay Lord, kay nakasultinas na kong dilima ko sa kong wife. Og muingon pang og muingon pang Ginoo og ako pang gilista dudong no pila na ka no tingali nga ako ang nalista kapila na nimo susulti igdao ta nimo wife Sorry Lord sige balik-balik ba but why is it that God is just nganong just nganong iya mang ipa hm ngano man nga do na may hustisya ang iyang pagpasaylo na to ngano man he is just man ang giingon sa Biblia God is just to forgive us. Nganong naman siya justisya? Tungod kay nasayod siya sa atong corrupt nature. Tanawar ako ng atong bata, nga palangga kay na to. Nasayod na nga badlungod kina siya. Atong gidigoro to, gadagandagan. Sunod, adlaw to, mudagandagan na sa, dili paligo. Badlungod kayo. And then, and yet, pinanggarigan po na to kayo. So, muna ako nakita nga, God is just. Nganong nganong naman sa hustisya nga mo pasaylo nato kay nay bow siya sa ato ang corrupt nature. Mao bitang gipakamatyan ta. Okay? So he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and this is the bonus. This bonus, 12 month bonus ana gauna nang Ginoo ani. Eh. Unsay bonus? And to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Anything that is unrighteous in your life and you have not mentioned that in your confession, God is still willing. God is still willing. Sa diha ang bata, mo surrender na dito. Ang tanang buling, iyan ang imon ng tanahon. Bisag mo yung hugaw kaya ako, Dre, ma. Ang mama, di lang kay concern sa hugaw, Dre. Iyang limpihan tanan. Because it is the act that honors God. What act? The act of confession. The act of confession in itself. Kay nakakibaw mo sa nangginoong di na takarikol sa tanan na itong mga kahinanggaw na buhat. Nakakibaw sa nangginoong di na takarikol. Nakakibaw man siya. So, He will cleanse us from all. Ah, Bible lo? Oh. From all. Unrighteousness. Dili pa kamatarong. Wow, that is the bonus. Okay? So, in prayer, we pray for God's cleansing. So, the first point is picture of surrender. The second point, a picture of security, which is through protection and through cleansing. And therefore, securing our families comes when, uh, when we have set up boundaries of protection and when we are seeking God's cleansing from sin on a regular basis. Okay? So, have you fill in a blank? I repeat, when we blank, when we sin, we should be quick to seek God's face and His what? 
forgiveness. Okay? So, you have fill in the blanks now. Let us go to this third point. We have few minutes to finish the third point. Okay? Okay? A picture of salvation. A picture of surrender. A picture of security. A picture of, uh, of salvation. This is the portrait of a loving family. Okay? Now, your home. Would you, would you agree on this observation? Your home cannot be truly. It cannot be truly what God means it to be. A portrait of a loving family. Unless you and me are a part of his family. Kinalang part ta sa iyang family. Loving God man siya. Kung saan so, na ito pag-loving family. Kung dili siya part sa iyang part siya family. So, salvation of the members of your family is a prerequisite of having a Christian home. A home is not Christian if the members of, of the family are not Christians. Okay? So, building a Christian home requires seeing to it that every member is saved. Every member is saved. Unsaon man ako ni pagluwas dili ikaw mo luwas ana Unsaon man ako ni nga maluwas ni i pray and then God will give you wisdom to contact people in the church staff of the church to win the members of your family or kun ikaw kantigo ka imo siyang sultihan sa istorya sa imong kinabuhi okay so Ephesians 5.25, open with me there. We can see the plan of salvation that is illustrated in there. Okay, Tanawa. Why do we say that the plan of salvation is illustrated in Ephesians chapter 5, verse number 25? It says, Husbands, love your wives. This is our memory verse. Even as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for it. Now, the kind of love which Jesus bestows on his church is that of a husband. Gipakita ba? Gipasabota? Nga, ang akong paghigugma sa church, mga kaigsonan, maingon si Kristo ka na to, mahulagway na sa gugma sa bana nga sa sawa. Okay? Para makasabot mo sa akong gugma nga sa church, gihulagway na sa bana nga sa sawa. Therefore, Ayo gi ayo ginag architect sa Ginoo ang relasyon sa banag asawa kay mura man ay hulagway. Mao nang naa si sugo husband love your wife kay hulagway ra banan ako ngadto sa ako ang sa ako ang iglesia sa ako ang ginatawag no So this church of Christ is made up of persons who are actually defiled by their own transgressions kay Sinners manta saved by grace. We are sinners saved by grace. So, ang mga members sa church, mga defiled nga mga tao, nga gireform, giusob, nahimong bagong binuhat. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. Mga defiled ta kaniya to, gilimpyo ta, bradyo, and then namhimot ng merimbo sa iyong pamilya. Salamat as ginawa na. So, Jesus is the author of salvation. Jesus authors salvation. Siya ay author, anak. Okay? And no blank, no pastor, no priest can save anybody but Jesus. No church. So, it is not, uh, it is not correct to say, you be a member of our church so that you be, you be saved. As if it is the church that saves the person. It is the membership, membership of the person in the church that saves him. Which is uh, not what the Bible says because it is not membership. Because membership is... Uh, uh, cannot be touched, no, brother? It cannot be touched. It did, not, it did not literally die for us. So it can never save a person. Membership can never save a person. But only the Lord Jesus Christ. Only nga inigka-save na nimo, He will add you to the church. Acts chapter 2, verse number 41. 
And they that gladly received his word were baptized, and the same day, 3,000 souls were added to the church. So, naay pamagi ang gino, sa dihang maluas na, magpabaptize, pamagi nga, unsa niya pagdugang sa mga nangaluas nga to sa iglesia. Okay? So, no church can save anybody but only Jesus Christ. Why? Because He, the church, does not die. Only Jesus Christ. Acts chapter 4, verse number 12, it says, Neither is there salvation. You notice that? In any other. Neither is there salvation in any other. For there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. And in verse number 10, because this is verse 12 of Acts chapter 4, it is but by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. So verse number 12 says, there is no salvation. There is no name given under heaven whereby people could be saved. And what name is that? In verse number 10 prior to that, but the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Maunay response nilang Pedro, unsa may inyong authority? Nga no maning tawhana nga buta man eh, since dire pastian nga naayo man eh. Unsa man eh? Ningon si Pedro, og imo ming eksaminon mga mga officials og unsang pagkahitabo nga kanisya na luwas o kanisya nakakita nga buta man ta ni, then giwalihan niya ang mga parisiyo. Nga ano man eh? Because the miracle could not be attributed to Peter and the rest of the apostles, but to Jesus Christ. That miracle was performed in order to open their eyes that there is no name given under heaven, given among men, whereby anyone could be saved, but Jesus Christ of Nazareth. He authors salvation. He is the only way to heaven. You try to witness, I have witnessed uh, uh, na, na I have uh, I have witnessed uh, kadibang igsoon bang uh, grupo sa Hinduism, Buddhism. I have witnessed uh, uh, one who is uh, a believer of Siddhartha Gautama, Buddhism. Daghang pagi. Daghan kain pagi. Kung saan pag kuwas langit, pwede gari-dari agiyon. In siya, para as buntod ba? Mountain? You can pass by here, you can pass here. The same will reach the top. So, ingon ana. But that is not what we learn from the Word of God. That is not what the Bible teaches us. That is not what Christ is teaching. That anyone can go to the top, to the Father, by any means, for as long as sincero siya. Dili ang sincero diha. Bisa unsa pa siya ka sincero because Jesus Christ says in John 14 verse number 6 Niyo siya sawa pa ang verse 6 let not your heart be troubled you believe in God believe also in me ano nagool mo mo nagool mo ma wa na ko I know you will know the way and tapos said we do not know it no the Lord Lord we do not know the way we do not know the way Lord and then Jesus Christ responded in uh, verse number 6 Jesus said unto him, to Thomas, I am the way. You do not know the way? Have you not known me? Ako man ang dalan. Nga nung makakabawas dalan, nga ako man ang dalan. And then, may yung tingin si Thomas, no? wow, siya de ang dalan. Padung sa langit. I am the way. Not only that I am the way, I will lead you to the truth. And not only that I will lead you to the truth, you will have life. I am the way, the truth, and the life. And Thomas, remember, no man cometh unto the Father but by me. That is why we Christians are, are quite very uncomfortable if one would say, Ang tanan, I will draw all people to me. Because I am the, you know, 
The adjective in the sun. <laughs> what adjective is that? Appointed sun. So I, I studied him. I studied him. Why is it that so many are so uh, following him? So I studied him. I studied his statement. I listened to his preaching and said, Ah, so this is what I discovered. I discovered that he promoted the Lord Jesus Christ to be that of the Father. So the Father and the Son becomes Jesus Christ now. He mag promote And then there is now a vacancy. What sa manodlo ane? Pero mo na ako na discover. And there is a need to have an appointed Son because of the vacancy. And the vacancy is that he was the one who promoted Jesus Christ to become the Heavenly Father. Notice what he says about the Heavenly Father. Notice what he says about Jesus Christ. He is the Heavenly Father. And ugwa ka, ka, ugwa ka makabasa sa Biblia sa uh, mga doktrina di sa Biblia, bisag ako mailag, bukupon. Dili, uy. We have Abba Father. Jesus Christ prayed to the Father. Yes. In essence, He is called Wonderful. Counselor, the Heavenly Father, in essence. But, distinct ang ilang personality. Heavenly Father, Jesus Christ, Jehovah God, tawag na itong Abba Father, and the Holy, the Holy Spirit, the Holy Ghost. Nag-imong ipromote ang usa, the Son, to become also the, Holy, uh, the Heavenly Father, doon ay bakante. So, siya ay ga-promote, siya rapot mo, oy, nag-fill up. And so, when he quote verses about Jesus Christ, referring to the Heavenly Father, when he quote verses about Jesus Christ as the way, he becomes the way. And so, di ko ka-accept, ana, tungod kayo, wak man siya mamatay. How can he lead people to him when he did not die for them? Only Jesus Christ. So, listen, no? But that is not our topic. But just in case, balang ba? No? So, no man commit unto the Father but by me. Not by anybody, self-proclaimed uh, person, but by Jesus Christ. And we know that salvation came because of God's love. O guwa pa siya, may gugma na to. De, ita maluwason. Di po taluwason. And Jesus set the example and pattern for love that we can follow. Iyang giset ang, ang, ang example sa paghigugma. Unya mo itong sundun. Now, tanawa si... Uh, tanawa si John the beloved ningon siya sa 1 John chapter 4 verse 11 1 John chapter 4 verse 11 ningon siya beloved listen to this beloved are we the beloved yes we are the beloved okay dili man gud ta ang ayang higugmaon pero tungod di Cristo we become the beloved ningon siya beloved if god so loved us we ought also to love one another this is the pattern now, verse number 20, jump to verse number 20. First John chapter 4. If a man say, I love God, we can say we love God in our songs, as we sing songs. We can say, I love God in our prayer, in our utterances, as we talk to people. We can say that. Now, if a man say, I love God, you notice that? And hated his brother, He is a liar. Oh, kagrabing akwisisyon, anak. Baka ko na siya. Nga nung niingon-ingon siya, nahigog ba siya sa ginoo niya, iyang gikasilagan niya ang igsoon? Now, kung sabi ng bradera ka ng igsoon ni mo, nga pareha mong, mong papag mama, not necessarily. In God's family, kita ba diri ba? So, naataroon din, galingko, na kay gikalagutan dito sa pikas o to ang dito galikot, nakikilagot ang speakers, nagiyon ng Bible, you are a liar. Ni-explain si John, parang dili siya makon, ma, ma, ma-accused ba? Parang dili ma-confuse ang usa ka tao makadawat ani, makabasa ani. Ni-explain si John, sa iyong explanation. For he that loveth not his brother whom he has seen, how 
can he love God whom he hath not seen? What an argument. It makes sense to me. Does this make sense to you also? Nahigugma ko ni mo Lord yan ako gikalagutan. Ang akong gigugma wag ako kita. Nya. Ningon si Jan, sa ko ni pagigugma ng Dios nga di mo makita nga di magani ka kayugma ng tawo na diha. Imong isig ka tawo nga parehan nimo. So, it is expressed in the Bible over and over again ang mahitungod aning gugma sa Dios. Okay? So, Nganong gugma may itong topic? Tungod kay salvation man. Wa man ta maluwas gawas sa gugma sa Dios. Tungod man ana, unya mao man ay the third picture of a uh, the portrait of a loving family. So, over and over again, John uh, Jesus Christ in John 15:9 says, "Daging on, as the Father loved me, so I have loved you. Continue ye in my love." In Ephesians 2.4, But God, who is rich in mercy, for His great love, will really love us. 1 John 4.10, Herein is love, not that we love God, but that He love us, and sent His Son to be the propitiation of our sins. So, here is the blank. His love for us it is eternal, it is unchanging, and is based on His nature, not ours. His love for us is based on His nature, not ours. Okay? That is why He came into this world to die for our sins. Okay? So, salvation, Jesus author salvation, Jesus provides salvation. The blank there is provides. And then salvation is a what? It is a gift. Salvation is a gift. Salvation is neither deserved nor earned. For by grace are you saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. It is neither deserved nor earned. Virgin, there was nothing good about us that made God want to save us. Wagi di wagi mayo na to. No? Ningon ang Biblia sa Roma 3:12. They are all gone out of his way, they are together become unprofitable. There is none that do it good. No not one. So, in Ephesians 5:25 when the scripture says he gave himself for it, literally Jesus gave his whole life. He gave his whole life, suffering and dying on the cross for the sins of the world. Whole life for the sins of the entire world. Okay? And he died in our place. He provides salvation. He died in our place. Okay? Jesus, uh, okay, that's right. At the bottom of the outline, the bottom paragraph there, there are questions which I want you to notice and find out. What photos do you find in the spiritual photo album that your family has shared together? Do you find a page for salvation? Do you know do you find a photo for salvation? A page for surrender? A page for security? And if some of these photos are still missing, it's not too late. Something very worthy can still be done. Mientras do na pay ginhawa ang atong ilong, we continue to shape and mold our family. The way God wants it molded. Kay importante ang pag-shape up sa atong, pag-preparar sa atong generation karon. One day we shall pass away. And our children will remain. And they too also will teach their own children. Lord, Heavenly Father, we thank you for these who have come this morning. Thank you for this Sunday school. Thank you for the portrait of a loving family. You are the architect of the family. 
and you t teach us, you have taught us to really uh, build up our family the way it should be done. We praise you, Lord God, for your teaching and your doctrines. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay, raise your Bibles up. We are happy to see our people bringing their Bibles uh, here. Brother Alcaria Palio de Abrad, Palio Kogak. And in this row, uh, Brother Alia, Brother Alia, please, Brother Alia, raise your Bibles up in this row, in this row, uh, Brother Flores, Palio, Brother Flores, raise your Bibles up uh, here, Brother Cal Clarity, that's Brother Clarity, dia. okay, Brother Boboy lang, Palio, Brother Boboy. Okay, raise your Bibles up. Uh, Brother Valdez, Paliho, Brother Valdez. And here, Brother Shame, Brother Shame. Okay, so. If you are a first time visitor, oh, we rejoice uh, with those who join us. Atong mga bisita, labi na ang permiro nilang aridere. If you are a first time visitor, Raise your hand, please. We would like to give you a special welcome. Okay, one, two, three. Thank you, Kayo Ninyo. Salamat sa inyong pagtambong. 